At SolidWorks World 2018, the shop floor showcase process began by manufacturing the design part on site with a Haas machining center and lathe. Before these parts were being manufactured, Checkmate, which is fully integrated with SolidWorks, was preparing for the inspection process. You can see the MBD PMI on the left in the DIM expert tree and the black annotations and the red SolidWorks inspection balloons in the graphics area. Reuses the feature and balloon names and tolerances by adding measurement attributes such as approach, retract, depths, and more. With the press of a button, Checkmate repurposes the PMI into feature measurements in the Checkmate programming browser over on the right. Of course, the red SolidWorks inspection balloon names are also incorporated into the feature measurements. Checkmate also inserts probe moves and rotations automatically where needed. But you don't have to use the Auto MBD button to generate the measurement features. You could create the feature measurements of your choosing from the measure ribbon. Checkmate will still reuse and repurpose the MBD PMI in those features too. You have full control of the program, from editing features by double clicking on them, to changing the order using drag and drop. The program browser is a powerful and simple editing tool. With Checkmate for SolidWorks, programming time is easily cut by 90%. Origin partnered with Wenzel America to demonstrate Checkmate's inspection process using a coordinate measuring machine. Now that our feature program has been created, it still needed to be tested before passing it along to the CMM. Although Checkmate automatically inserted all probe moves and rotations, it is still good practice to check for collisions. Confident that the program is good, a DEMIS format program was created. Checkmate can output to virtually any modern day CMM. For this manufacturing showcase, we created a DEMIS program for Wenzel America's Open DEMIS language. The Checkmate DEMIS program was run on the CMM, measuring the prototype part, which was 3D printed by Zometry, a SolidWorks partner. Once the Checkmate program is finished on the CMM, we import the CMM results back into Checkmate, maintaining that digital thread. Here we have created a graphical whisker report showing a scaled up color coded whisker for every measurement, indicating the direction and magnitude of the actual deviations. Notice the whiskers are showing that the top of the part is low and that the bottom of the part seems to be warped towards the left. So we populated our root cause browser over on the right with the profiles in one group and the datums in another group. Using SoftFit Solver, we performed a fit on the surface profiles, but not the datums. This means that if we fix the datums by the amount that they are now showing out, the profiles of the resulting part will be good. No need to remeasure parts as we can simulate the fix right here with a few offset adjustments. Time to make some inspection reports. Maintaining the digital thread, we can find an automatically filled report in Checkmate's reporting browser, which supports a single part, statistics with multiple parts, and even has the ability to report groups of sample parts side by side. Now, if you need to send an external report, the reporting browser can be printed to a printer or to a PDF file. Checkmate can also produce reports from its many pre-installed templates, such as 9102 and PPAP reports. At the Shop Floor Showcase at SolidWorks World 2018, Origins Checkmate for SolidWorks demonstrated the concept of maintaining the digital thread for quality and manufacturing engineers, all inside of SolidWorks.